What up YouTube? It is your boy All About The Sneakers back with another unboxing video for you guys. This is going to be another one of my safe in place pickups. If you're new to the channel, hit the like, subscribe, and share button, and make sure you hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date on future release videos. Now, if you don't know what the safe in place pickups are, this is something that I'm temporarily doing for the time that we have been confined in our homes. These are sneaker pickups that I have picked up during these times. So again, if you're new to the channel and you did not know that, now you know. So on that note, I do not want to take up a lot of you guys' time in this video. Just want to keep it short, sweet, and simple. So let's go ahead and jump right into the unboxing. Okay, so I have the shipping box here. Have the handy dandy box cutter on deck. So we're going to start by making our top cut and move on to one side of the box and the other side of the box. Let's put this away. All right, guys, so I have the box here. And as you can see, this is a black Jordan box with a gold Jumpman on the top. You also have the gold Jumpman here on the side of the box. And on the bottom of the box, you have your Nike branding. And on to this side of the box, we do have a gold 23 as well as the size sticker here. And the size sticker reads Jordan Spizike. And the colorway reads black, court purple, anthracite this is a size 10 us and these retail at 175 dollars okay guys let's go ahead and get the box open here this is a pop-up flip lid and inside as you can see there is white tissue paper with gold 23s all over it if you haven't figured out already yes this video is on an air jordan spizite a court purple colorway Again, I was able to get this shoe on clearance for a very good deal. I want to say it was somewhere around the low 100 range, maybe a little less than that. Um, so if you guys are in the Spizikes, there's some deals out there. Go check them out. Just search all the sites. If you got any discounts on some of the sites, make sure you uh, apply those at checkout. All right, so about that tissue paper, as you can see, the Golden 23s on the white tissue paper. Pretty standard. And... Bam, there you have it, the Air Jordan Spizite Court Purple. Gonna go ahead and do a quick 360 on the shoe. All right, guys, to go over the shoe a little bit here in depth. As you can see, this is an all black upper shoe with nubuck material here. On this little mud guard area here, as you can see, it's shining. There is some black patent leather. That goes all the way around to the front of the shoe. We do have some black elephant print here. That is a high cut elephant print because it does go up high over the toe of the shoe. But I really do like that uh, black on black patent leather with the black upper. Everything is pretty much blacked out up top. Really, really dope in my opinion. Here on the netting cage, we have a black netting cage as you can see on some of the Air Jordan 5s. And that's pretty much what this Spizite is, is a mashup of multiple Air Jordans. Uh, you can see a little bit of the fives in it. You can see the threes with the elephant print. Not sure about this mud guard here, but I do like that that is in place with patent leather. Uh, you can also see that we have a black ring here, which is also new buck. And you get that from the Air Jordan 4 with the eyelet here. We have Air Jordan 5 eyelets here. They are blacked out as well. Here on the side rear of the shoe, we do get more of that elephant print, which is a black elephant print as well there. On the midsole, we have a white midsole with some black hit going around to the rear of the shoe. As you can see, there is some court purple here on the outsole, which extends up around the front of the shoe and that is like a translucent purple uh, it's a little bit dark in the video but you may see it illuminating a little bit up under here so it is translucent and it does give a nice bright shine when sunlight hits it just looking in the air bubble there we do have white inside of the air bubble and that core purple translucent outsole extends around to the rear of the shoe here on the front of the shoe we do have black laces standard black laces in place there okay so here on the tongue we do have that black padding uh, mesh material with a court purple jump man on there that piece is from the air jordan 6 which i think is pretty dope here we have a plastic clear lace holder 
with a lace lock in place. Uh, the lace lock is black. I believe the lace lock is just solid black. There is a jump man here on the lace holder. Moving on to the tongue, we do have an Air Jordan 6 tongue here on the Spizikes. And it is hard to see, but we have the Jordan text right there across the tongue. Okay, on to the back of the shoe. We just have primarily black here in the back. We do have some patent leather right here going around the little uh, ring icon or logo, the Spike Lee logo. Uh, it doesn't have his face on it, but it does have that 40A or D. Let me look at it like 40 with an A down here. So four, zero and A in that circle. Honestly, guys, I do not know what that means. I did look that up before and I think I want to say I knew what it meant at one point in time. But right now I am lost for words on what that even means. So if you guys know what that means, please comment below and let me know. We have a court purple pull tab here, which is a nice addition to the rear of the shoe. Moving on to the insole, we have a court purple jump man inside of there. Uh, this is not focusing really well, so I do apologize for that, guys. Um, but there is a court purple jump man in there on a black insole here on the sock liner We do have court purple as well and we have a cardboard shoe tree inside black on the inside of the tongue And excuse the lighting please guys. I am having trouble with my lighting lately So that is something I'm going to focus on upgrading for my videos is getting better lighting So these shoes will show up better, but you do have to excuse me on that Okay, and on to the outsole here. We have a translucent court purple outsole as you can see the color is all purple there is no other hits of any other color on there except for this Jordan text here, which is black right there in the rear of the outsole. Also failed to mention on the side here, this is really some shiny plastic going on there on that eyelet. And it's the same case on this one, as you can see it reflecting. Uh, but the one up under here is more matte. So that is more of a matte colored one. So that is a little uh, change up and it does blend in real good with that patent leather. Just to show the medial side of the shoe, pretty much the same as the lateral side of the shoe. And guys, that is pretty much it on this shoe. Comment below, let me know if you guys are a fan of the Air Jordan Spizike. This is actually my third Spizike to my collection. I'm really happy to have this shoe. This shoe is very dope. In my opinion, some people don't rock with the Spizikes. They don't like a lot of the mashups. Like, I'm not a big fan of the Dub Zero. Uh, it just kind of looks like a turtle shell to me for some reason. I'm not a fan of it. But I do like the Spizikes. I do like the Air Jordan Legacy 312s. All of these shoes incorporate some signature elements from many of the Jordan signature shoes all into one shoe and the Spizike is definitely one of my top faves on mash up Jordan shoes. So again guys, comment below, let me know, are you guys fans of the Spizikes or not? One last look at this shoe before we put it away and end the video. All right, and that pretty much does it guys. Air Jordan Spizite Court Purple, a safe in place pickup. I am so happy to have that shoe guys. Again, if you guys are a fan of the Air Jordan Spizikes, go out there and check some of the sites out. They're available pretty much everywhere. I'm not sure how much longer that silhouette will be sticking around. Um, it's been sticking around for quite some time. So I personally hope they continue to redrop different colorways. I'll continue to pick those up. If you guys are not a fan of the shoe, comment below and let me know why don't you like Air Jordan Spizikes or do you like any other mashup Jordans for that or do you like any of the other mashup Jordans? Everything doesn't have to be about a hype sneaker with me. Doesn't have to be about a major GR release with me. I'm just keeping it all about the sneakers, guys. But again, that is all I have for you guys today on this episode. Stay tuned for the next episode. I will be doing another unboxing on a safe place pickup. Then we'll move along to some more new release sneakers. Actually, I may have a couple of safe and place pickups for you guys coming soon stay tuned on that note guys i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here it is your boy all about the sneakers signing off again if you haven't go ahead and hit that like subscribe and share button and make sure you hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date on future release videos again guys i'm trying to hit that 1k subscriber mark i'm almost to 100 subscribers thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel 100 is a big deal for me i really appreciate it so we can hit that real soon just share the videos with your friends Tell everybody about the channel. Get it out there. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. 
and I will catch you guys in the next episode. Again, it's your boy, All About the Sneakers, signing off. You guys have a blessed one. Stay safe, and I will see you later. Salute. I'm out.